proclamation recognizing the retirement of Elaine Johnson Lojinos Gonzalez, Vice Chair, Board of County Commissioners. Come on up, Elaine. All right, and as she comes up, I have two things to read in. So uh, I move to uh, approve a proclamation recognizing the retirement of Elaine Johnson, whereas the Board of County Commissioners of El Paso County, Colorado, regretfully acknowledges the retirement of Elaine Johnson, who has faithfully served El Paso County for 16 years, and whereas Mrs. Johnson first started working for the county in November of 2003 as the El Paso County Department of Human Services Budget and Finance Manager, where she developed several innovative procedures, including a system of reporting current state fiscal year allocation and expenditures to DHS executive management. The same basic reporting system is still in use today. And whereas Mrs. Johnson worked directly with county finance and budget leadership, teaching funding strategies to maximize all funding sources that allowed flexibility between child welfare, child care, and temporary assistance to needy families, TANF. Whereas in May 2010, Mrs. Johnson received the Outstanding Merit Award from the Colorado Government Human Services Finance Officers Association. This was recognition for the leadership role in establishing the nonprofit CGHSFOA organization, serving as the first president of the organization, participation on multiple allocation committees, willingness to share knowledge with others throughout the state, passion for training and mentoring others, and professionalism and dedication to the integrity and values of finance and accountability within human services. And whereas in November of 2010, Mrs. Johnson was named budget division manager for the county. Then in 2013, she took on a new position as funding optimization manager, which presented the opportunity to be involved in supporting financial services in various roles while still supporting DHS and public health. And whereas from 2010 to 2017, Mrs. Johnson was appointed board member and co-chair of Court Care for the Pikes Peak Region and has served on the board of directors as treasurer for the Fountain Valley Senior Center since 2015. And whereas in 2015, Mrs. Johnson became district manager of the Baptist Road Rural Transportation Authority, coordinating all efforts in the dissolution of the entity by December 2016. And whereas over the past 16 years, Mrs. Johnson has continuously served as sub PAC or other appointed member of allocation committees for DHS County Administration, Adult Protection Services, Colorado Child Care Assistance Program, and member of subcommittees for Child Welfare Allocation Committee, QUAC, Colorado Works Allocation Committee, and Family First Prevention Services. Now, therefore, the Board of El Paso County Commissioners recognizes and commends Elaine Johnson for her 16 years of outstanding service and dedication to El Paso County. Then this 20th day of February 2020 at Colorado Springs, Colorado, the Board of County Commissioners of El Paso County, Mark Waller, Chair, Lojinos Gonzalez, Jr., Vice Chair, Stan Vanderwerf, Holly Williams, Cammie Brember, members, attested to by Chuck Rorman, County Clerk and Recorder. Second. All and right. And if you can't, if I have a letter, I would like to also read in. Yes, why don't you go ahead and do that right now? All right, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Chair. Uh, so I did receive also input uh, from your uh, long time working and, and great work working uh, spe specifically with our, uh, the senior center. Uh, the city of Fountain has uh, submitted a letter that uh, they would like for me to read. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> This one's kind of worn out. Oh, we already crawled. <laughs> We're always prepared up here. <laughs> <laughs> So, dear El Paso County Commissioners, on behalf of the City of Fountain, I would like to wholeheartedly congratulate Elaine Johnson on her retirement and thank her for the great work that she has done for the Fountain Valley Senior Center. As you all may or may not be aware, Elaine has been the treasurer on the Senior Center Board for a number of years and was a tremendous asset in helping to bring the financial systems and processes up to date. Her work has helped set up the Senior Center for success, which leaves a lasting, positive legacy in our community. Our best wishes go out to Elaine in her retirement, and we thank her for all her service to the Fountain Valley Senior Community. Sincerely, uh, Gabriel Ortega, Mayor. All right, so here's how we're gonna do this. We're gonna open this up to public comment and um, opposition to uh, this uh, <laughs> proclamation. 
and I uh, suspect that there should be significant opposition to it. So uh, if you'd like to come down and say a couple of words, please start making your way down, and uh, we'd like to, to hear from you, and maybe we can talk her out of it. <laughs> Mr. Assessor. And let the roast begin. <laughs> and, and, and when you come down, if you could, please uh, sign in, state your name, and then uh, begin your testimony. We all know you, though. Yeah. Good morning, Commissioner. Steve Schleicher, El Paso County Assessor. Um, I strongly urge you for a no vote. Um, but I will share with you is I actually had the privilege of being the president of the Baptist Road Rural Transportation Authority Board and had the honor of shutting down that taxing authority extremely early. However, we would not have been able to do that without Elaine. Um, her guidance, her know-how, it was absolutely amazing uh, where we were able to shut that down years ahead of schedule, which made many taxpayers up in the Monument area along the Baptist Road uh, extremely happy. But I tell you is, if it weren't for Elaine, it wouldn't have happened. Um, she was there by my side the whole entire time and just giving me a call going, Steve, I advise you to do this. I said, okay. So anyways, she is going to be missed here in El Paso County. And these are some big shoes to fill. And thank you for everything you've done for thank me you. and also the assessor's office. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you Mr. Assessor. <laughs> All right, anybody else? Chris. <laughs> Chris hired me <laughs> way back when. <laughs> Christine Schmidt retired from the Department of Human Services, and I was the administrator over administrative services, which included the business office. And I did hire Elaine. I should say I was brilliant, but she was brilliant <laughs> and really took a system that was not broken exactly, but it certainly wasn't functioning correctly and fixed it and brought her note how to the department and then later to the county. And I'd like to thank her and you're losing a valuable asset. Thank you. Good morning, commissioners. Um, Elaine, when, when Elaine started here, um, I'd been here about three years and I was working in the accounting and budget area. And the DHS account numbers always just completely baffled me. So one of the first things Elaine did, she came in and she took the numbers, the, all of the accounting numbers, <coughs> revised them, explained it to me, and it's like, oh, well, that makes sense. And <laughs> so it was like a light bulb came on after she explained all that to me. And then some of the other, um, you know, we've, we've lived through a lot of changes. Um, we, we went back and uh, me and her had a big project. We had to go all the way back to Tabor day one and recalculate everything going back forward. That was a lot of fun. And uh, <laughs> yeah. It was fun. And then um, mm -hmm. when we went through the um, uh, recession, we had to come up with some innovative ways to uh, uh, try to draw down some additional federal funds. So Elaine came up with a great, really great idea with that, with our indirects and our direct cost, and and saved the county a lot of money on that. So um, yes, my I uh, also would encourage you to vote no. So <laughs> she wants me to stay a few more years till she retires. Yeah, just a couple of more years. <laughs> Thanks. Commissioners, my name is Barbara Drake. I'm the current Deputy County Manager in Douglas County, former El Paso County Department of Human Service Director, and still El Paso County resident. And I'm this other person that helped hire Elaine Johnson uh, at the Department of Human Services. I want to congratulate her and thank her for the years that I worked with her. She um, had an incredible understanding of human service financing, which is not simple. And she also, uh, I think it was mentioned how much she focused on training. And she was always incredibly patient and giving of her expertise. And I think you're losing a very valuable asset, but I understand that she's trained some great people behind her. So I want to congratulate Elaine and thank her for the years that she and I worked together. Thank you. Thank you.
Barbara and Commissioner Clark and I spent a few hours on the road going to and from child welfare allocation committee meetings in the early days when, uh, when the difference between funding in Denver County and El Paso County was tens of millions of dollars. So we, um, we had a, a good team. Got a really good team. We actually threw a fit and got our um, got our allocation increased. <laughs> thank, thank you for that tip. I didn't. I wasn't aware that was the way things were done. <laughs> so I'll, I'll throw a fit next time. Elaine, here's a copy of the letter for you. We wanted you to have it for your oh, record. Thank you, uh, Sam Diamond. Thank you, yeah. Sharon. Jolene Hausman, Executive Director of Fountain Valley Senior Center. We're so grateful that you guys shared Elaine with us for the last five years. I strongly encourage the yes vote on letting her retire because she's gonna help me clean up my depreciation schedule. Um, we have been so grateful for her knowledge and expertise. I saw the books before she became our treasurer and there's no way I would have become the executive director if I inherited that. So we were very lucky and she has helped us tremendously in the transition off of all the county services and let us be our own standalone nonprofit now and without her help and expertise, we would still greatly need much more support from you guys. So thank you, Elaine. Thank you. Oh, don't make me cry. <laughs> Good morning, Commissioner. Susan Whelan, Public Health Director. Um, the county has a phenomenal budget and finance team, and we are so grateful that Elaine um, is, was our point person for public health when we integrated with the county. She is phenomenal, as you all have heard and you all have um, know in, in working with her. She brings so much expertise from the budget and finance side. Um, our budget, um, is complicated as well. It has many different um, funding sources and, and grants, and she has helped us to improve our systems um, and get us to a level of um, having clean audits. And I believe um, soon in the future you'll hear about a, an award that, that we received, and it's um, in part because of the, the wonderful um, contributions of, of Elaine knows our budgets inside and out. She has so much history. She is so helpful. She has been a tremendous mentor to our managers and our leadership. Um, when we get in the, the um, realm of public health, we have physicians, we have you know masters in public health um, folks, epidemiologists, and they know their work very well, but when you put them into a management position, sometimes they need some mentoring with the budgets, and Elaine has helped us provide a lot of training um, that is invaluable to all of our um, management and our leadership, and we um, adore Elaine. We um, would like to oppose <laughs> you not leaving as well, but we know that we are in good hands also because we have um, such a great, great team with the county. And we have a couple of things that um, on behalf of public health and also our Board of Health, we recognized Elaine um, at the, the last meeting with the Board of Health as a public health star. And someone who receives that award has to demonstrate that they meet our values of service excellence, integrity, data-driven, and uh, being efficient and, and those things. So we do have um, something to provide to you, Elaine. At the Board of Health meeting, we took a photo with Board of Health, and um, we provided some signatures. And so um, this is for you. And uh, that's something that you can remember us by. We also have a, a journal um, for any notes that, that you'd like to uh, <laughs> take it home. Thank you. But congratulations, and we adore you, and we are going to miss you, and we hope you have a fabulous um, journey um, as you enter a next uh, phase. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Oh my gosh, look at this. So, 
Good morning, Commissioners. Julie Crow, Executive Director of El Paso County Department of Human Services. Um, on behalf of myself and our executive team and all of our staff, we also want to thank Elaine. Um, and I just am so impressed with her. Not only does she help DHS keep our budget balanced, she does something that I think is even more important than that. Um, and that is that she cares about the children, youth, families, and adults that we serve. And so you don't think about this often, but people in our budget department, our finance department, our IT department, all of those folks that support DHS help take care of the the children and the people we serve. And for example, um, Elaine helps us figure out how we can do things, not just how we can't. And so if we come to her with an idea that might help children, uh, she'll think about what funding stream can we use? How can we make that work instead of just being a no person that won't work? And so to me, that's one of the most important part of being a funding optimization manager is that you have a heart for the people that we serve. And Elaine has that heart. And just a few quick examples. Um, we determined that we could provide twice as many services for children, youth, and families if we were to bring our core services program in-house and manage our Medicaid dollars better. And Elaine helped us figure out how to do that so children could have twice as many services in El Paso County, and that was a huge win. We also questioned why is the county operating a detox program when maybe that would be better um, operated by a substance abuse treatment expert. And that was complicated. And again, Elaine helped us figure out how do we make that work um, and transition something out so that our clients have the full continuum of care of services um, that can be offered by a private provider more effectively and efficiently than a county provider. Uh, she helped us bring in an employment program so that we can hire more people called the TEA program you've heard about. And she is right by my side with Commissioner Waller and Commissioner Bremer fighting for our allocation formula, which is now the closest to Denver uh, allocation as it has ever been. Um, and she helps uh, make sure that we have all of the numbers and everything that we need um, to do well in that, in that uh, committee. So I also think that you should vote no. I've told Elaine almost every day, it is not too late to change your mind. And it's still not too late. Um, it could be done, I'm sure, between all of us, we could make that happen. Um, but she's continued to say she, she wants to retire. So because of that, our entire DHS team has put together um, this basket because Elaine loves to travel. So we have things like gas cards, a uh, travel book, uh, all sorts of items. I think we also have a journal. We have some Kleenex in case it makes her cry. Um, <laughs> and lots of other great, great little treats in here in this lovely travel case um, so that Elaine will remember us. And we also put a picture of our executive team. Um, but we just want to thank you, and some of my team would like to say a few words, too. But thank you on behalf of DHS. Thank you. I'm going to miss everybody. Uh, we'll miss you here. Yes. Good morning, Commissioners. Chris Garvin, Deputy Executive Director. Elaine has become a mentor to me, whether she knows it or not. When I first took over the position as Deputy Director, I didn't know a whole lot about budget, so I called Elaine one day and said, hey, can I come over and do a tutorial with you? And I'm sure she rolled her eyes, but uh, I got over there and she'd actually expanded the group, so that was really good. So she did teach me a lot, and thank you for that so much. I, I kind of see Elaine as my bigger older sister who's leaving me, <laughs> but I was compassionate and understanding of my needs and um, my misunderstanding of budget or my understanding of budget. She was always so patient and uh, just a great mentor, so I'm gonna miss you. Um, I was dreading this day, so. I remember the first day you showed up at DHS. I go, who is this budget wizard? <laughs> so, thank you. Thank you, Chris. It's been a journey. Thank you. Good morning, Jill Calvert, Director of Children, Youth, and Family Services. And Elaine, I just want to thank you for welcoming me. And um, 
Your expertise in child welfare is so important. It's an important job, and you being at the helm of that and leading it, I always knew that we were going to get what we needed to keep children safe, and that's a really big deal in this profession. So thank you. Thank you, Jill. Good morning, Katanya Jones, Child Welfare Administrator. Elaine, it's only been moments in, in, <laughs> you know, in the grand scheme of so many folks here, and I just want to say I'm so appreciative and grateful for the drops of knowledge that I've been able to gain from you, so thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Katanya. Good luck to you. Good work. Good morning, Rachel Klein, Contract and Internal Compliance Manager for DHS. And I just want to thank Elaine because she really helped me understand when I started, she actually hired me, was one of my hiring team, that um, it's actually about the people and not just about all the numbers and what we do and actually put the real human face to it and took that time to actually help me understand that and thereby do my job better. So thank you. Thank you, Rachel. Oh. They do the really hard work out in the field. Good morning, I am Renee Mabe, Employee Benefits Division Manager, and I just have to say that I, I'd kind of like to take a little credit. I didn't hire her, but we actually have worked the longest together, I think, in this mm -hmm. auditorium, because we uh, worked together for the city of Monta Vista, and she played an important role in helping me to understand uh, government, because I came from the private sector, and uh, we went through a lot of interesting times there, and then I came to back to Colorado Sp Springs, and she decided uh, a few years later to follow along, too. I've heard the, the term mentor so many times with those coming up to the microphone today, and that's probably one of the key words that I think of with Elaine. She is an amazing person when it comes to teaching someone else, and that goes along with how she mentors. She, she did an incredible job, I know, just with the city, at the city of Monta Vista and mentoring me to the things that she helped me to understand. And I, I actually wanna say that you should vote yes, because I want her to have fun with this family, <laughs> um, even though I know she'll continue to volunteer in a lot of different organizations. But it's time for you to hit the road and have some fun with AJ. Oh, thank so, you. Thank congratulations. You. Thank you. <laughs> um, good morning. I'm Debbie Perry. I'm the finance manager. Um, and to begin with, I have a. Um, <clears throat> A dear friend of mine wanted me to say a few words for you, Elaine, and that's from Susan Belotti. She retired recently. She was our Health and Human Services Accounting Manager. She's unable to be here today, but she wanted to make sure and um, celebrate with you today. So, um, Elaine, you were her direct supervisor for eight years, and you both were, when you both worked for DHS, and you were a valued colleague also with her for seven years at DHS um, after our DHS Finance Office consolidated with the county's budget and finance office. Um, you truly were a wonderful mentor for her. Um, you shared her knowledge with Susan and you made her feel valued. Um, and, and you helped with her knowledge and helped her contribute. Um, in addition to the support and encouragement you, you gave Susan, you provided opportunities that allowed Susan to advance um, in her career with El Paso County. Um, and your support helped Susan to feel proud of her efforts on behalf of the county and the city. Um, Elaine, um, you've been a, she, she continues to say, you've been a valuable contributor to El Paso County a government, and um, we're all fortunate um, that you chose to come here to El Paso County and make it your home. Um, and we know that your daily work and presence will be, it will be greatly missed. And um, thank you for everything you did for Susan over the years. And Susan wants to wish you every happiness as you retire and enjoy the next chapter in your life. So, um, yes. Thank you for sharing. Um, um, but as for me, um, Elaine, I'll greatly miss you too. You've been a wealth of knowledge for me and you've just been very patient with me and taken time to work with me. And um, coming new into the county um, three and a half years ago, DHS was a big was a big bullet to undertake, and I, <laughs> I appreciate all of your knowledge and patience and, um, and kindness in that process. 
Good morning, Commissioners. Nikki Simmons, County Controller. Um, everyone said this already, but wealth of knowledge. That's the first thing that I think of when I think of Elaine. Um, she's always impressed me by her ability to, get, to grab a subject and be given a project and become a just a subject matter expert no matter what the subject is. Within a few weeks or a few months, she knows more about it than anybody I've ever met. And so that's led to me personally learning more from her than I'm not, and probably anybody else in this county. Um, Elaine's eyes light up when she gets to teach somebody something. Uh, and so you've heard the word mentor, things like that. That's, I think it's because she really honestly likes to share the knowledge that she has. And um, I wanted to echo something that Julie said, that with that knowledge, she's using it to care about the children or the public health clients. She always has our citizens in mind and making sure that we're doing the best with our taxpayer dollars, making sure that everyone is taken care of properly. Um, so, uh, you know, and, and that goes with so many things. I think there are so many projects that you have no idea that Elaine was behind them, you know, behind the scenes, making sure that they work, making sure that the numbers work, but not even just the numbers in a lot of cases, actually doing the work. Um, she took on a lot of things that were above and beyond what you would expect in the budget office. So I just wanted to say, Elaine, congratulations. Um, and I hope you have a blast in retirement and we will miss you. Shauna Huffmaster, Office Manager for Facilities, and I think Kenny brought the box of tissues up for me. Yeah, let's not start. <laughs> um, I'm trying not to. Um, I second everything that everyone else has said, and um, I've known Elaine a long time as well. And you really are good about teaching and taking people under your wing and sharing that information, and like Nikki said, just you know, and everyone else, a wealth of knowledge about everything, and it's just amazing to me. And I wish you and AJ the best, and we're gonna miss you. And she's really, really tiny, but she has one of the biggest hearts I've ever seen. <laughs> Good morning, I'm Samantha Montmany. I'm a lead budget analyst supporting DHS. I have spent, I've had the pleasure of spending the last two to four years working many, many hours in Elaine's office. I've even threatened to move my office into there to avoid walking, um, <laughs> make it easier. <laughs> um, I know Elaine has mentored me quite a bit. I have learned so much about DHS and the finance behind it and the budget behind it and everything else. So. I know not only me, I know others who also are in budget and support DHS have learned a lot and um, also consider you a great mentor. So thank you and we're, we appreciate it and we will miss you. Oh, thank you. Oh, so <laughs> we will miss you. I'm gonna miss you. <laughs> Samantha has taken on learning that DHS funding and allocations and the county's in good hands, let me tell you. Is there anybody else that would like to speak in opposition to this proclamation? <laughs> uh, Cole Emmons, Senior Assistant County Attorney. Um, it's getting harder to watch these longtime employees uh, leave us but I'm glad we do these bittersweet ceremonies to honor our departing colleagues. Um, I wanted to uh, thank Elaine publicly uh, for the help that she has given me over the years, uh, particularly with regards to financial matters. Um, in the early days of uh, uh, helping to set up and then run uh, the El Paso County Water Authority, uh, which then became the Pikes Peak Regional Water Authority. 
and the Fountain Creek Watershed Flood Control and Greenway District, um, I had to not only provide legal uh, counsel to those entities, but also help with the math. Um, and for an English major, that is uh, challenging. Uh, but I had to deal with uh, budget issues and uh, financial statements. And uh, more imp most importantly and most challenging for me were Tabor issues. And I could always go to Elaine, and she was very gracious with her time and advice in helping me uh, with those matters. So, Elaine, I thank you for that. Um, you know I always try to give you uh, good advice in handling difficult issues. Uh, so my counsel today would be, um, if you vote yes, uh, you'll be complicit. Uh, <laughs> if, if you vote no, you will probably be viewed as hard-hearted. So my counsel to you would simply be that each of you abstain from voting. <laughs> um, no action will occur. We can all go have cake, and Elaine can get back to work. I like Thank it. You, Thank you, Is there anybody else that would like to uh, speak on this proclamation? All right, Elaine, the, the floor is yours before we abstain from the vote. <laughs> I always thought we got good legal advice there, Cole. I'm not so sure. Um, I'm blown away by all the comments. It's been a journey. It's been a wonderful journey. And I didn't get here by magic. I had a lot of teachers. People have been patient with me and taught me along the way. And I remember one person at an allocation meeting, I think I'd been there maybe four years, and I kept saying, well, I'm I need a little more information because I'm the new person. And they said, that doesn't work anymore. You're not new. You've been here long enough. So anyway, it's, uh, it's been so much fun. I, uh, I'm going to follow with my notes or I'll wander a little bit. But uh, I can only say I treasure all of the experiences that I've had. and. And I say thank you to all of you and to all of the folks in the room and those that have spoken. And I know my, I have some family members that are watching online. It's been an incredible journey and um, I need to first express, want to express my gratitude to my husband and my family. Um, they've supported me in my working life for, um, I've been in local government for 33 years and actually working even longer than that. Um, I'm just uh, very thankful to uh, the commissioners, those that came before you. In fact, when I first started, there was a Commissioner Brimmer, <laughs> not Cammie. <laughs> um, and also, I worked with uh, Commissioner Williams over the years, um, Holly's husband, Commissioner Wayne, a uh, former Commissioner Wayne Williams. <laughs> So it, it definitely has been a wonderful journey working with many elected officials and staff, and uh, I consider it just an incredible opportunity and to serve the citizens and to have a part in uh, child protection. Just, I just do the numbers, but behind all those numbers are those little faces and uh, the adults that uh, the county serves in so many different capacities. That's what's really important. Um, Renee Mabe mentioned that she knew me for a, a little longer and that we did work together previously. She actually encouraged me to apply. When I looked at the job description, I said, oh my gosh, I don't think, I probably shouldn't do this. I don't have any experience in human services. I'd been in a small community as the finance director for 17 years, so I knew local government, but human services? Oh my gosh. Well. Then Barbara and Chris took a, um, took a chance on me and hired me and taught me. We spent many times till 7 or 8 o'clock at night going over funding and um, strategies and how to better serve the community and what needed to be done. What a great learning experience and such privilege that I've had. Um, 
And then the chances that I've had, the opportunities in the working for the county at large in the budget division and as the funding optimization manager, um, when I first learned that I wasn't going to have any direct reports, I thought, what did I do wrong? But in reality, I was told, no, it just frees you up to do whatever I need you to do in this or that. So that, that was public improvement districts and, uh, and BIRDA and the senior center and still working with human services and having the opportunity to teach and train and, and work with so many wonderful people. And public health has just been, um, just been a joy. I have learned so much about what they do to protect our citizens and, uh, and prevent major outbreaks that, um, that could occur, but by being there and being at the forefront and the knowledge that these folks have, it's amazing to me. I've had the ability to touch so many different areas and uh, you all have a great team. You have a lot of wonderful people that work for the county and it's in good hands. Nobody's irreplaceable. And so I am going away. I look forward to being with my family a little more. Um, I have with me today my daughter, Lindsay, and her husband, Riley, and their children are Haley and Charlie, and uh, my son, Jeffrey, our son, Jeff. He's a student at um, uh, Mines, Colorado Mines, and he is in his doctorate program in astrophysics. So one of these days, he'll He'll um, be finished with that and move on to even bigger things. Both Riley and Jeff are veterans. They served in the Navy. Riley aboard um, aircraft carriers, and Jeff is a plank owner of the USS North Carolina's uh, fast attack submarine. He worked in the, the nuclear stuff there. So we're very proud of them and uh, very proud of all that they have done. And the grandkids, I can go watch hockey now, this little boy skates with the mini mites, and uh, Haley dances, and she goes to Pikes Peak Community College and does online high school, so very, very proud of all of them. AJ and I are going to take off in another week and go to the annual meeting of the Vintage Motor Car Club of America, VMCCA. We have old cars, and, and we like to hang out with other people that have old cars, and I'm going to become treasurer of that national organization, so... I have a little fun going on there, too. Um, then in June, in June, we've planned a, a trip to Alaska on a, on a boat, on a, on a cruise. So we're going to do some fun things, and mostly just thank you. Thank you all for everything. And please vote yes. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if, if, if you could just get the latest version of the CWAC documents ready for us before you head off, that'd be great. So Actually, Samantha really knows that stuff very well nowadays. <laughs> All right, I'll bring it up here for some discussion. Uh, you want to kick us off, Commissioner Bremer? Oh, sure, sure. Um, you know, Elaine, um, I'm usually quite convicted about my votes, and uh, today I am conflicted, and um, especially after Mr. Emmons uh, gave us an alternative option there. Um, but you know, that's, that's highly appropriate um, that someone just put an alternative option on the table for us, because I have watched you do that time and time again, and I think somebody referenced here that, that you, uh, you take seriously your job of getting to a yes and figuring out how we can do things. And, and I think you're always, uh, your brain works in a way that allows you to see um, what others may maybe see as numbers on a spreadsheet <laughs> that are sometimes overwhelming. Um, you see alternative options that get us where we need to be. And I have so appreciated that. I've learned from it. Um, I am very, uh, I, I'm selfishly sad that I don't have a little longer to uh, learn from you that, but I have so appreciated that, and it's been inspiring to me. I've heard a lot of other people say that um, that you've you've schooled up and trained many of us up well, and as an elected official, what that means to me is that I'm armed with information to just do what's right, and particularly uh, for. Um, 
our, our underserved um, and most needy citizens um, and the, the elderly and the, the child welfare groups. Um, bless you. Um, and, you know, I think um, <laughs> Julie and Rachel touched on this too, that it would be so easy in, in any of your positions to have um, Pleasure Bless again. You. <laughs> I, I think I'm allergic to this proclamation. <laughs> um, it would have been um, so easy to uh, bury yourself in the spreadsheets and and turn them turn them over. Um, and instead, it it always came with with sage advice um, or an interpretation of what the numbers actually meant two or three steps down the road. And again, as an elected official, that's just just absolutely invaluable. Um, I've had the honor of working with you both um, in my two passions, which I, I think I see in you. They're also your two passions, and that's um, on the Board of Health um, through anything involving health and human services. Um, and so um, I am so grateful that you were able to approach those numbers with such a heart. And that is, uh, that's, a, that's a rare gem of a combination, and we will miss you tremendously. Um, thank you very much for your service. Thank you. Commissioner Vanderwerf. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Wow. You know, I, I just, I think I heard you say this without the numbers. I mean, or you just work the numbers, right? Well, without the numbers, we don't win. Without, without the budgets and the contracts and the cash flow and it all adding up at the end of the day, we can't get our job done. It's a critical task. And I can tell you that uh, for myself personally, I'm very grateful that we, we've had you in the county uh, working those numbers, making sure it all works out because if, if we don't have that part of our process working really, really well, we really get messed up in our ability to, to provide services for the citizens of El Paso County. So I want to thank you for the great job that you've done. And I can tell, right, from the people in the audience, uh, you are loved and will continue to be loved by the other employees here. And you are and will continue to be a part of this great team. And I just want to thank you so much for all of that. You know, uh, I think it was Julie that mentioned this, uh, a, process, a concept of how we can get something done instead of what we can't do. That is always, always the right attitude. Uh, and I know that you've been involved in some very complicated uh, budget processes, and some of these have been real challenges. Uh, some of the employment programs and uh, um, the uh, uh, um, divestiture of um, the alcoholic center, right? Those kinds of things. Those were not easiest to do, not easy to do, because we were talking in some of those cases about moving from a public project, uh, budget process out to a private activity, and then what continues to be our interaction with those kinds of things. And it always revolves around money in the end, right? Uh, the money is what makes it happen. So we've, we, we, we have to have uh, folks with talent like you have in order to continue to make the county operate. So again, I, just again from for me, thank you very much for all that you've done for the county. I was going to ask you what you're going to do next, but you actually answered that, right? <laughs> so thank you. Uh, uh, it's fun to always hear a little bit about maybe what hobbies and interests are, and this is about uh, vintage cars, and you're going to be the treasurer for that national organization, so you're not getting out of the business, are you? No. no. Uh, but I think that them. means also other people know your talents, and that's awesome. And enjoy Alaska. Really sit, go out there and just relax and enjoy the beauty. Take a few long breaths, and then when you're done with that and refreshed, come back and get to work on your passions. Thank you again for your service to El Paso County and its citizens. Thank you. Commissioner Williams. Thank you. Um, I just want to say, Elaine, you represent um, our wonderful employees here. So when we went out to the Tri Lakes Chamber of Commerce luncheon, I was able to honestly just stand up and say, El Paso County has 2,800 wonderful employees. Yeah. And I, you know, then I was able to give the example of how our wonderful health department cut down on teenage suicide. And in no way do I take any credit for that because we have so many employees who do so many awesome things that happen without even our knowledge. So 
Um, I appreciate, I wish that you would be around for another eight years so you could mentor me. <laughs> um, and, but you're, you represent the greatness of El Paso County employees. I figured in your job title, there's 26 letters, and it may actually take 26 people to replace you, which we don't have the space in this building to house, but um, we truly appreciate all that you've done. I wish you could stay around and do some more great things, but I know you've trained up, and sounds like you love to teach. You've trained up some great people to continue to help us. So I wish you luck in your retirement, and you will be greatly missed. Thank you very much. Thank you. You know, um, all, all of these uh, retirements that we go through when we have long-term employees are, are difficult because, it, you know, it's hard to replace all of that um, experience and institutional knowledge that, that comes along with being here for a long time. I got to tell you, this one's going to be particularly tough. Uh, tough for me because uh, Elaine and I get together once a month. Um, where we go over all of these incredibly complicated documents and spreadsheets about the Child Welfare Allocation Committee, the CWAC, not the quack, <laughs> the CWAC. Um, and it's, uh, y you know, as a, as a lawyer like uh, Cole, you know, m math isn't my deal. Uh, and so uh, <laughs> Elaine's responsibility is to come in once a month and, you know, take these incredibly com complicated formulas and kind of boil them down into something that's uh, easy for me to understand. And I, and I got to tell you, that's, that's not an easy task to accomplish. And I, I, I think you've done it most times, but, uh, you know, I'm kind of hard to teach. So probably there have been times I know where you've been, you know, well, you don't quite get that right. And, and, but that's okay. You know, we end up getting to the right solution. Um, the, the thing that is particularly um, striking about Elaine and, and her retirement is the direct financial contribution she has made to our community, not to the county, but to our community, to the people, the citizens that live here. Elaine has brought millions of dollars into this community that otherwise wouldn't be here. Not, not um, deferred maintenance that saves us million dollars, not improved processes that save us dollars in some way, but Elaine has brought actual dollars into this community, millions of dollars into this community that we then use to serve our most vulnerable citizens. Um, we're uh, dealing with a, an issue right now on the Child Welfare Allocation Committee, and we're following the um, statewide, uh, statewide committee, uh, we're following the El Paso County model. And it, it really shouldn't be called the El Paso County model, it should be called the Elaine Johnson model because she's <laughs> the one that put it together. And she's the one that's created this um, um, way of being able to allocate uh, child welfare allocation dollars in our community. Um, that's just some of the contributions. I know you do so much more than just child welfare, um, but that's the one I know, that's the one that I have the experience with. And um, I, you know, regardless of, of, of who replaces you, um, that's been a significant contribution to our community. Um, it, to, to care enough to put that kind of effort into making sure we have the dollars to protect our most vulnerable citizens is, is one of the greatest contributions I think anybody could make to a society. Um, we're gonna miss you. We're going to miss you tremendously, and, and I can't tell you how much we appreciate all the work that you've put into making this a better place for us all to, to live and work and raise our families. Commissioner Gonzalez. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, I just wanted to thank you for all the great years and all the great things you've done for us. You know, uh, going now a little over three years, uh, uh, knowing you myself, uh, just all the great things you've done. Uh, if, you, if you go fishing up in Alaska and you get a a fish, please take a picture and send it to me. You know how I appreciate that. Uh, they have great we big fish up there. We are going fishing. I, 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 I hope you do that. Uh, and then again, anybody who's, who has to have an extra meeting per month with Commissioner Waller needs to be held to that higher level of praise uh, for all the great things you've done. Very uh, true. Uh, but uh, I, I too have gotten to spend a little extra time with Elaine uh, with uh, my, my work on the Board of Health and then at the Senior Center where I'm also a board member. And so uh, just congratulations, great work. 
you've done awesome things and we really appreciate the fact that you're here with your family and that you get to enjoy much more time with family now uh, which is which is you know one of the greatest things you can do so congratulations again i i guess i will be voting yes on this thank you <laughs> all right it's been uh, the proclamation's been moved and seconded so i will regretfully call the roll commissioner bremer aye commissioner manderwerf aye commissioner williams aye Mr. Vice Chair. Aye. And the chair votes aye. That passes unanimously. Congratulations, Elaine. Thank you all. Oh we'll God. stand in recess for a picture.